This game is called Take That to the Bank. There will be a series of money tubes that you'll tap on to select and coins of various denominations will drop into those tubes and you will stack them until every tube is full. There will be a maximum of 30 slots and at the end if your goal that you were given, the amount that you were given on that screen, if your grand total reaches that set goal, then you win. Let's just take a look at it, get an idea. You'll end up, you'll tap a tube to select a money tube. Coins will drop into the selected tube and they'll keep dropping into that tube until you select another tube. Now every tube has to be filled up. There's a maximum of five coins per tube. If you get six coins in a tube, you lose. However, higher denominations crush lower ones. So for example, a quarter would crush a dime and a nickel and a penny and a dime would crush a nickel and a penny and a nickel crushes a penny so if the six coin that drops is one of higher denomination than the, the the ones in the tube then it will smash those freeing up more space and that's one of the strategies that you'll use is stacking some of the tubes with lower value coins so you can create space as you need it now underneath each tube you're going to be shown a subtotal and you'll also be shown a grand total. There are also two discard tubes that you'll use for coins that you don't want. And you also have a chance to win wooden nickel power-ups that you can use to clear the discard tubes or to trade in for higher, uh, uh, more powerful uh, power-ups. Uh, the left-hand corner of the screen will show the next coin that will drop. Now, besides coins, we also have stamps in here, postage stamps which uh, a lot of people don't realize but stamps are considered uh, can be used as currency too now you can click on the pause button uh, to not only pause the game but to trade or swap power-ups so you can use the wooden nickels that you win in the mini games to empty the discard tubes or you can trade three wooden nickels and get a freeze power-up that'll freeze the game for 10 seconds or you get a slow drip power up and that'll slow the game to half speed for 30 seconds now usually you don't want to click on those two early those are ones that you click and use later on in the game so that uh, as you get close and maybe you have four or five slots to go you need a little bit more time to think about what value of coin to place into each slot you can either freeze the game or slow it to half speed to give you a chance to respond now uh, Sometimes you'll be given a low target goal, uh, so it's a good idea to fill some of those tubes with pennies or nickels or to use the same value coins in the same tube. Now, we get a chance to win a power, uh, a wooden nickel power up. You get this every time you start the game, you get a chance to win two. Two wooden nickels, and I hit spin, now cash out. Nope, didn't win that one, but I click here to go to the next level. I still get a chance which coin is not a dollar. Well, let's see. Uh, that's a dollar. That's the Susan B. Anthony dollar. Uh, there's the Morgan Silver dollar over here. Oh, this one says it's three dollars. That three dollars isn't a dollar. So yeah, that was it. And I continue on. Okay. Now it's showing me my next coin, the drop, is going to be coming from over here. Yeah, a dime. Next one that drops is going to be a penny. And it's going to continue dropping into this tube. Until so I click somewhere else. Let's put the nickel in over here. I notice as soon as I click on one of these tubes, it doesn't say tap here anymore. That's just so you have a visual clue where to go. There's a 50 cent piece. I'm going to move him over here. Uh, just so I have a little bit more room. I like to keep the same denominations in. If I put this quarter in over here on the right hand side, it wasn't quick enough. Let's put this nickel over here on top of this right discard tube. You'll see I'll smash the two pennies because it's a high denomination and then it freezes on the dime and I like to stack my pennies in a, in a row and get some low denomination see my goal is 751 right here and so far we have got 91 cents see I got a little subtotal below each one that was a Susan B. Anthony so that's a dollar and the nickel will stack if I want to clear out these two nickels I'll place the next dime over here to clear those two out and I'll put the 50 cent piece Whoop. not doing this quick enough am I 
So I'll just keep clicking the ads up. Now, uh, it's a little too early in the game to be using a uh, one of my power-ups, but I want to show you what it, what it looks like. This wood nickel down here is telling me I got nine wood nickel power-ups from previous games. You do get to carry them from game to game. And if I click it, it clears both discard tubes, basically giving you another 10 slots, 10 slots to discard coins. I'm also going to hit pause game, and you can return to the game or go to the next level, but I want to purchase a uh, freeze, and I want to also purchase a slow drip, so we can show you how those work. Now you see my wood nickel count is back down to two. It took three wood nickels for one power up. Go back to the game. And let's just see what slow drip looks like here. When I click it, notice the coins go on half speed than it was before. Give me more of a chance to see the screens, analyze what amounts and what coins I'm going to place where. And you can see I've got uh, 19 seconds to 18 seconds to go. You get 30 seconds on the slow drip. Uh, and usually, like I said, this is too early to do that. You normally want to wait till you have about, you know, 10 slots or less and you're trying to get to slow down so you have a chance to react to it. All right, and then it goes back to your discard one. And I'm going to hit pause game. And I'm going to swap that power up. I don't want the wooden nickel. Remember, I still had, uh, I bought one of the uh, uh, freeze. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. But I want to show you what a freeze would look like. It's dropping. I hit freeze for 10 seconds. The game freezes. No more coins drop. You get a chance to look at the screen, see what you want to do, make a decision, and then it starts back up again. Okay? Just to get an opportunity. Uh, I'm going to pretend I won this game. And you hit the jackpot. You give you some extra coins, and then you move on to the next mini game where you we're going to move a bandit left or right. Don't get hit by the falling coins or stamps. And the next object is going to drop directly above wherever the bandit is. And you want to build a stack like a staircase. And you go hopping up that staircase and jump on the stop button. Let's take a look. It's pretty simple. Just tap to go left or right. Next one drops where I am. So here comes the Morgan Silver Dollar. That's a 25 cent coin. It'll land on top of the 25 cent stamp. I'm just going back and forth. I'm trying to build a staircase up to that stop sign. There you go. All the way up. And we want another wooden nickel. And it goes on to the next one, which you see now we're on the stamps. And notice it says tap here. That's so you know what to do. You're not confused. See, what, what am I supposed to do? You tap where you want the stamps to go. And this next stamp is going to come over into uh, that column, that money tube. And you see that was uh, Fred Douglas. That was 25 cents. Here's a 50 cent. I'll put them over here in the other 50 cent one. And I'll put the 20 cent one there. A lot of times it's a good idea to keep same denominations together so that you know uh, it's a little bit easier to add them together. A lot of times I don't like the 6 cent ones or the 7 cent ones unless, let's say, your number ends in uh, 76. You know, a lot of times I like to get uh, the... Uh, uh, have the six one at the top and get uh, 70 cents in a tube and then have a six cent coin at the end So yeah, that one is exactly on the number that uh, we're trying to the odd number that we're trying to hit and again if I want to uh, Clear the discards again. It's way too early, but I can hit the little wood nickel over here and clear them out Let's pretend we won that game as well and on we go. You have a chance uh, to win a wood nickel. Which one had the uh, campaign slogan, I like Ike? Well, uh, that would have been Eisenhower back in the 50s. He's on the eight cent stamp. Definitely wasn't Washington, Lincoln, or FDR. So we'll choose Eisenhower and we win. And on to the next one. And we're not going to show much more. I just want to show you that on this one, you're going to have both coins and stamps that are dropping and uh, there'll be rare coins and rare stamps as well as some of the familiar ones. This one's actually a rare stamp getting ready to come down. Uh, it's got uh, 25 cent piece. Actually this gold uh, uh, piece is a uh, rare one even though it came out in the 80s but it had a flaw in it which made it a rare co coin and uh, that's a 
the Lincoln 25 cent stamp. Anyway, they'll come down. Some of them aren't rare. You'll recognize them. A lot of you will recognize that 22 cent stamp. It looks familiar. So just mixed coins. They still have the same value. Uh, sometimes the stamps are a little easier because you can see usually the value on it or the others like a dime. You just have to recognize that it's a dime or the, that the gold piece is a dollar or the buffalo nickel is a nickel. You better have to pay attention. And, uh, but you also learn the value by letting things, when they drop, you can see this dollar turns into a dollar fifty. So, and that looks like a one. Yep, it's a one fifty one. And a nickel. Yep. So you get a chance to see what, what the values are. I'm going to have to stack up until uh, it gets too many coins in there. And that's what happens. You, you don't get to take that to the bank. And that's pretty much how the game is played.